Generic greetings, I quite like the narrative exploration game genre, or walking simulators as a lot of people call them, and I think it's the mix of intrigue and play things at your own pace that I find so endearing. The thing is, you could argue quite successfully that what these games do other better games do just as well with also their thing on top. So for example Half-Life 2, if you remove all of the guns from that and all of the shooting and all of the puzzles and stuff, it, you could still get a sense of the world, you could still walk around that and have an, an understanding of how oppressive it is and what's going on just because of the great world and level design. Now the thing is I don't really want all the time you know, to be shooting the men with the guns or building things with the trowel or detecting things with the detective, I don't want all that sometimes, I just want I just want to wander around the world and get a sense of what it's like and just a bit of escapism and just have a relaxing time or if it's not relaxing as I said at least you're somewhere else a bit of escapism that's why I quite like these games anyway Infra is something I've been quite smitten with lately because it does a couple of things that I haven't really seen in a couple of other uh, exploration games I've played a lot of exploration games from wandering around a uh, island to sitting in a tower looking for fire, exploring in a town that all of the people have turned into NG beans because of reasons, and uh, just going around detecting and looking for a family in a house. I've played loads of them, in fact, probably, probably played 20 or 30 of the things, and obviously they range from absolutely terrible to, ooh, this is really good. Infra is certainly the latter, I believe. I've played the first couple of chapters. The reason I like this thing is because of a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's got a sort of urban exploration type thing going on, where you're going around like abandoned buildings, and also all types technology that's breaking down and you get a sense of the world and what's going on. You play a structural surveyor and you're trying to find out what the hell is going on and why things are breaking down. I don't want to say too much now because obviously this is spoiler warning, it's a very heavily story driven game so if you like the idea of wandering around abandoned buildings and finding out all of what's going on and also doing a couple of puzzles then this may be for you. No harm, no foul if you want to knock the video off now and check the link out in the description because then you can... Um, you know, check it out without any spoilers. Either way, from here on in, uh, that's, yeah, how it's going to be. I will probably spoil some story for you, but uh, hey-ho. Let's just go to play, and I'm going to go to uh, probably new game, and we will load chapter two. Now, as you can see, there are several chapters. The game was released with only, I think, the first three or three or four, and then they did different patches to release them in chapters. You didn't have to buy them separately. It all came in the game, but it was just sort of patched in as it progresses on. But uh, I played the first two and went, this is good. I'm going to wait until this is fully released which it is now, so hey-ho, let's go to another day at work. Just another day at work, actually. Uh, by the way, today's beverage is... Mm. Coffee with sugar and milk, and the reason for this is because when I went to grab it, uh, a couple of people were there, and they'd already made an extra beverage for me, and went, there you go, you want sugar and milk, do you? No, I have it black, no sugar, but I'll take it anyway, because it's a free beverage, and <laughs> if I was taught anything in your life, you just don't turn down a free beverage. Mm. <sighs> Quite a nice one as well. Okay, so we'll load it up and firstly we'll note that it's not the best looking game in the world. It's Source Engine um, and because of that, you know, it is a little bit dated and you know what, fine, I guess it is what it is. Obviously it's got nowhere near the looks of um, everybody's gone to the Rapture or, uh, you know, that sort of thing or this stylized thing of Firewatch. As you can see, it's a bit lo-fi in places but um, it is what it is. So anyway, we've just come out of our generic vehicle and we have to uh, wander it around and find out what's going on and eventually I think we'll get a phone call. There we go. I'm just going to shoot up while he gets on his phone. Or maybe he's not going to answer. I'm finally here. The traffic was horrible. Any last minute tips before I start surveying this place? You know the drill. Take pictures of everything that's broken. Okay. Also, if you come across any technical documents or other documents of interest, take pictures of them. It'll help our cause. Okay, bye. Bye. Cool. So, we do have a flashlight, as you can see, and we also have a camera, which we can use to snap photos. The idea is that we're looking for damage on these things, and also trying to find out what's going on and why we haven't got certain reports and things like that. So, immediately, we're getting a sense of what's going on underneath this, um, this, this, this bridge. We've got some drugs, probably, no, just cigarettes, uh, some booze, other things like that. Um, and we've got, so, what's this? Stahlberg is like it. this bridge, old, crumbling, and full of alcoholics. <laughs> Uh, we don't know who this um, Stalberg is, but I'm going to take a photo of that because it would be probably quite useful. Uh, actually, no. Uh, what happened is the focus 
ring on the camera will uh, zoom in when you find something of interest. In fact, I know we're coming up to this bit now. I've played through the majority of this chapter, so I know what's going on up to here. So, but we can see that there. Look, bit of damage. I say a bit of damage. It's literally crumbling apart. So this will take more than just a new cog of pain. Yeah. So we got a little. Um, we got a look at that being damaged. Is there anything else we can take up here? Ooh, cars are going over the top. I would probably shut this down immediately if that's uh, ready to go. Is that another bit of damage there? That is another bit of damage. Uh, it's not a very good photo though, so I'll go down the bottom. So I'll run down here, and then we will snap a picture. Uh, click. Let's hope the repair holds on to the repairs. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to repair that. That's, uh, yeah, I'll put some shuttering around and fill it with concrete. No, God knows. Anyway, so we've got a flashing light here. This is the Stelberg water. So whoever this Stelberg guy is controls a lot of gear. So we'll open that up and we can see that immediately um, someone has been either stashing bottles of beer here or this is just general maintenance stuff. But uh, hey ho, let's uh, go to signal converter on. We'll go to uplink main fuse on and RCR2 on. And then we'll flick the switch. And there we go. We're good to go. The that's. Yeah, that's definitely spinning around. This is the water flow monitor. I don't know why that's off. And even the guy said that. But uh, maybe you know, some hobos or whatever has come along and turned it off for reasons. Anyway, so we've knocked that on. That's all sorted. So we'll just continue on. But you get a sense of what's going on here, so things are crumbling, things are breaking, um, there's this Stolberg guy or whatever, you get an idea of what's going on, well you don't actually, you get an idea of um, who's involved and what the uh, what the buildings are like, but you don't know why it's in this condition, you would think someone had uh, come here and fix it beforehand, but that's why we're here, to uh, investigate this. So. We'll head down to this, um, is it, uh, this is not the dam, there is a dam later on, I'll probably show you a bit of that towards the uh, last part of the video, but this is like a, I think it's like a generator in this one, uh, looks like there's some pipes, we've got, um, that is input, press, broken, heat, and output press, which we can't alter, uh, do we need to take a photo of that? We do not, um, what's this here? Is that like toxic waste? Oh no, just a corrosive, let's have a snap of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't seem decent, just putting all that waste there. Anyway, so we'll go down and we've got like some sort of sluice here, probably for logs to go in, although it is broken. Um, should we go down? I don't know if it would be a good idea, but we uh, might have a look down here. And what do we get? It is, oh, that doesn't look good. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. No, I don't think that is meant to be like that at all. Um, I, this is all... Yeah, that's all blocked up. That's not good. No, that's not good at all. You don't get any points or anything like that for this, but uh, obviously you get more stories you go on. Why is there all the bottles everywhere? Let's just do a bit of littering and... Uh, oh, it actually floats because of physics. Right, cool. Um, can we do that? No, that, I was going to say, can we open them gates? We can't because that is an electric motor and it doesn't seem to have any connection so it's never going to work. Right, so we'll go over to here and again we've got another bottle there. I'm assuming when I open this door because I do have a set of keys. Oh, I was going to say it's going to knock that bottle but uh, let's see if we can smash the other one and go! Ah, so, right, okay. All so, right. inside. First inspection target. An old power plant that I already forgot the name of. Let's so, see how this place is doing. This is a power plant apparently. Um, it says lights. Uh, fuse of the main hall's lights is are broken. So we'll flick it on and okay, let's just turn that off. Right. So in here we have ooh, we have some generators of some kind, and I'm guessing yeah, that's water coming out of that one. That's definitely broke. We've got a leak. Yeah. Um, that's Gen two and Gen one, and ooh, look. All technology dials, switches. Oh yes, I like this sort of thing. Um, can we turn on the generators? No, nope, that just powers them that off. That should do it. That should do it. We've literally turned them off. Why? Why would we want to turn them off? I don't really know. Um, I'll put them back on. Does it work? Yeah, that's working. Well, Gen two. Gen two will definitely not work. Yeah, there's there's an error on that one. So I'm just going to turn that one off. We'll keep Gen 1 on because that seems to be working okay. And they all say unused. I don't know why. Anyway, look at the overexposure on that one. Oh, the camera can't handle that. No, we can't. Right, okay. So, we will go in here and... Oh, there's some more corrosive material that apparently isn't a problem. Uh, we'll try and get out. 
Damn. Ah. Keys don't fit this lock. Keys do not fit that lock. Bolt cutters right so we need some bolt cutters. Oh, look at this. Old technology. Great. What is it? What's it doing? I don't know, but we should probably not touch everything. Nope, we can't touch anything anywhere. Um, RT32, GR54. I don't know what any of that means or does. It doesn't look like it does anything. Um, no, well, we'll not bother to. We'll not bother touching that. More fuses and what's in there? That says my nuts and oh, there's some batteries actually. A pack of spare batteries for the camera. Which I don't know how. I don't know when this is supposed to be set, but quite honestly, if they've been in here a while, then they're probably not going to be working. Um, let's go up here because I don't think we did go this way. We've got uh uh yes, that is a burger. That's not good. Pack of batteries though. Two packs of spares for the camera. And, and we've got a maintenance log. Okay, so it's dated 6802 by JK. And it looks like it's every couple of... Is it every couple of weeks? Something like that. Uh, very hot day apparently. Some weird pain in my chest. That's on 51102. Holiday and then uh, New Year. Heart aching again. Gotta take it slow. Um... Visit this hall that did actually is kind of sad. Goddamn heart. Well, at least this place is still intact after all this time. I don't feel the same. And then it sort of stops. So I don't know what's gone on here. It stops at 2003. I don't know whether the person has, um, well, died, retired. Um, someone's replaced them. But if someone replaced them, you would assume perhaps that... Um, that there'd be more people, well, that there'd be someone else here, and there's no one else in the I log. See. So, and there's no body, so unless he's turned into a burger, I assume, I assume he's just been fired or retired or something. Um, either way, why has someone not been here for a while? I don't know when it's supposed to be set. I don't know if it's supposed to be set in 2003, or whether it's going to be, whether it's like now. But, uh... Probably told me at the start of the game. I just uh, haven't played that bit in a while. Like I said, I uh, I started in oh I started months ago. Oh, there's the ball cutters. Well, I started months ago and then got a bit through and went, you know what? I'm I'll come back to it when today. it's completed. And uh, I thought I'll just do this chapter before uh, and do uh, the videos before we restarted. Anyway, so I've got the ball cutters. We can go out. Uh, is there anything else to snap a photo of? Don't think so. No. Okay, so we will head off. And a beverage, actually. Mm. <sighs> Lovely. Right, so we will use the ball cutters here, and there we go, it opens up, and we can see oh, that's firing all the water. Oh, excellent. So that's still generating, which will be putting power in somewhere, and further up ahead there is a dam, I believe. So we'll progress on and see what else we find, but I have a feeling. And this is just of past experience that it'll all be broke. <laughs> because that's sort of the tone of the game so far. Okay, they're exceptionally low resin. What the hell is... Yeah, that's broke. <laughs> I think some maintenance nets, uh, needs to be done around here. So it looks like some sort of logging operation has been done here. Um, lots of logs up the top here, like a track that goes down. I can probably go down this way. No, I can't. And we've got... What's all that? More? More waste? I think so. That is um, liquid gypsum, apparently. And loads of stuff just left all over. Okay, what we'll do, we'll go inside the cabin We'll see what we've got. So what? there's some graffiti all over the place. So it's obviously been... Oh, let's reload the camera, actually. Only one pack of batteries left. So it's probably been here a while if there's loads of graffiti on it. Although that's not necessarily the case. Cause people just could be coming at night if they're still working. But this is uh, the the morning wood coat. We will open that up and see what we find. Straight away I see this locker, which looks very suspicious. And yeah, a pack of batteries. That makes two <laughs> packs of spares for and the And oh, line. fire extinguisher. Made in Britain. Does it blow up when we look at it? Oh, no, it doesn't. And also when you fling it, it doesn't like burst the bottom off and then spray all the way around. Literally unplayable, this game. Right, so we've got a microwave, we've got a coffee pot, and we've got a map. Uh, so the sawmill was there, and... Oh, have we just come around that way? 
or his office there. No, no, we've just come from that one old power plant, of course. So we came down this way to there. This way, we've crossed that bit, and we are now... Um, well, we're now there. But So the dam is ahead, we know this one. Uh, can I take a picture of the map? I might as well. And snap. Things aren't seen ahead. There we go. Looks like the work was cut short. Yeah, work was cut short. So we've got some notes here. So, um... Demand payment for sawmills, massive log order, long overdue. Figure out how to pay our loan bank before we go bankrupt. Yeah, there's more of the stuff there, get new clients. So, Matt, do you know why the dam stopped passing our logs through the chute? It's been weeks since the last log passed through. I tried contemplating the dam to get this sorted out, but there's no one there. Yesterday we tried pushing the something into the tunnel, but the chute seems to be blocked from the inside. And the one on the other side says, Dear Tom, I know about the hydropower's company sudden bankruptcy, but seen Alex occasionally entering the power plant and light coming out of the windows at the night. Still waiting for the payments. Hmm. So apparently, for whatever reason, well, this company's obviously out of business. Uh, let me just snap that. Uh... Look obviously this company's out of business now like but they went out of business what's the deal like why well obviously it's, it was out of business because whoops whoops okay just just, just leave no trace just, just wander off uh, what's this um that's a map of no no interest yeah so this place has obviously gone out of business um don't know why it's gone out of business uh can we go can we cross this way or should we cross the other way um, no, let's let's use this. Let's um, see if we can cross this way. I don't want to go that way. No, let's go that way. I'm guessing you can just use this to bring it over. No, we'll go this way because it's... Uh, well, do we really want to use technology to cross, <laughs> cross this? Um, experience has taught us that everything's breaking down, but nah, we'll give it a go. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so obviously that place has gone out of business, um, mainly because they've stopped sending the logs through and they've closed it all down, so something's going on there. Anyway, we'll go through this way, and... Oh, this is a dead end. Right, well that's... Can we go back and round? Please say we can go, on a, we can go around and to the left. I hope you can. Yes, it does look like you can go around to the left. So, I don't know what we're going to find here. Obviously, nature has uh, not been bothered about the loggers going away. That's for sure. Another closed off fence. Oh, but there is a car here. So, does someone live here? Let's see if we can knock on the door. We can knock on the door. And nobody's in, or they're ignoring us. I'm guessing it's going to be the same from the other bit, so I'm not really going to... I'm not going to bother. I wonder if they're on the toilet. Can't knock on the door. Literally unplayable. Could just snap a thing for that. <laughs> Good grief. Right, okay. And um, we've got... Ooh, a drainage ditch, and I'm stuck in it. I'm stuck in the ditch. Uh, yeah, we've got another place here, which... Got cars there. This does seem to be occupied, but... Uh, anyway. Um, let's see what we've got here. It's a... Ooh, it's a railroad bridge, and... Hang on. Is that it? Must have been yeah, that's a log. Um, if I remember correctly, this railroad is still active. Yeah, this is a bridge, I and it does say uh, that uh, this around. place is still active, so we need to get to the signal box and um, make sure that the train doesn't crash into that. I, if I remember rightly, you can you can either let it crash into it or whatever. You don't have to do this. You don't have to stop it. But uh, yes, yes, there yes. We there we go. Turn that to red. So hopefully it'll stop. You can let the train crash in through it, and um, it will just crash through it. There'll be no problems. Or you could uh, do what I've done and, uh, well, yeah, do that. Which is slow the train down. Here's a train. Let's get a picture of the train. Are you ready? Ready? Train. Yeah. All right, Mr. Train. You okay? No, oh, no, don't come out and thank me for, uh, you know... Saving you from crashing into a big log. That's no problem at all. Um, what's down here? This is... Probably just another way around? Yes, it is. Oh, we could oh, we could have gone that way. Yeah, fair enough. How's this bridge anyway? It looks fairly intact. That's at the dam, obviously. I'm assuming you know what a dam looks like. Uh, that's one side of it. The other side will have less water. 
And that's obviously where the logs will come down and flow that way. Oh no, that that could well that could be for logging, but it also could be the uh, the diversion thing. That's how they build dams. They divert the river either side of it and then build up and then close them off. And you can use it for overflow and things like that. I saw a documentary once about the building of the Hoover Dam. Quite interesting. But you know, well, I thought it was quite interesting. Maybe the thing was boring. Um, either way, this thing was built in well, Hammer, Hammer, Villy, uh, Hammer Valley Dam in 1962. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, have a look in. Open it up. Hammer Valley Dam. Mm. I hope that at least this place is in a better condition. I'm best. I'm going to bet that it's not going to be in a better condition. Uh, authorized personnel only. Well, I am authorized, but the door does not open. Okay, so we'll just go down here then. Oh yeah, it is for logging. Look, there's there's some of the logs coming through, and we can go outside the dam. There you go. And that seems um, like maintenance has been doing the job. The dam's in even worse condition than I thought. Yeah, that dam is knackered. Um, it's got a tree growing out of it. Someone should have probably reported that. Um, so, in here, we've got... What have we got? We've got maintenance. By the look of it, we've got a fuse of some kind. And that's pretty much it. I'm guessing the fuse will go over in here. Yeah. And then we'll pick up this one. I'm pretty sure if you fling that over the edge, which you can do, you get an achievement for basically... <laughs> Uh, like break, not breaking the game, but you can't progress on. I think you have to just restart, which is fair enough. <laughs> Be a silly thing to do. Oh, there we go. There's the generator all powered. Well, no, the generator's on, and uh, we've turned on the elevator. Excellent. And now what we'll do is something very silly, and that's um, probably jump in an elevator that we know is probably really, really, really broken. Let's just fling that over there because we can. And there it goes. Anyway, so we'll go in the elevator and... Oh, is this a good idea? Probably not, but uh, hey-ho, we'll have a crack on. So, so far, what we've learned is everybody's gone out of business, everything's breaking down, and there seems to be one company name popping up all the time. And um, will that feed into stuff later on? Yes, yes it will, because as I said, I've played the majority of this chapter up to... I think I've just got past the main sawmill. Um... So obviously the sawmills further ahead, the logging bit, we've already been where that little uh, that little port cabin is. So yeah. Uh, this bit is exploring the dam. Now, when I first played this, it was a bit annoying because there was like a like a bit full of water. I might be able to show you that, but it depends how long it's going to be. But um, there's a bit that's full of water and it's all... Uh, it's it's all flooded the generator room basically and if you stand on that you immediately die restarts the uh, the section of the game because uh, well you get hit with a lot of current um but the thing is uh, the platforming bit was terrible it was really really bad but I don't know if it's been improved it's been, I just uh, since I last played it or I just got better at it because uh, it didn't seem to be as terrible I don't know how our phone is managing to go through all of this concrete that's a very 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 good phone. And why is there so much beer everywhere? There's beer balls all over the place. Like, there's a huge crack in it. <laughs> We're for no supervisor right saying, um, can we have someone anyway, fix this? Because it is broken. I'm down at the dam. I'm heading to survey the Bergman tunnels. Could you have someone pick up my car? Mm. I'll take care of it. Keep me posted. No problem. So yeah, uh, that's the that's our supervisor. I think we're just telling them that we, you know, we're going to go down to the dam and uh, pick our car up. And oh no, this is not good. Shit. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Ooh, okay, so I think that's stuck now. Imagine, imagine crawling through that and just as you get halfway through, that just drops down and completely shears both of your legs off and then you're there going, ah, writhing pain, you can't walk out because there's no stairwell and you've also got no legs and then you die here. A horrible, miserable death. That would be horrible, wouldn't it? Terrible. Anyway, what's in the security room? Um, you can stop corruption, apparently. Uh, what if we are the corruption? Then what do we have to do? See, poster, just not even giving us the right instructions. Uh, stop alcoholism, ban the Osmolaut beer, which is from 18, no, 1988 or 85? I can't tell because of low res. But yeah, uh, that's the beer we've been seeing everywhere. Um, so this is the maintenance, oh, this is the security room, and it looks like we can flick these switches to activate the different doors only if they've got power though i think i've managed to open this door yes i have and we should be able to have a look outside there's a laboratory i think we have to get there i think to get through that you have to mess with a fuse and that is 
Yeah, that is loads of, like, fungi and mushrooms all over the floor. That's not good. And uh, there's the dam. With that crack in it that looks considerably bigger from here. I don't know what you would do to repair that. Either way, you can see there's a sort of substation thing, and it goes off there. Yeah, very industrial. This is why I like the um, the I like the urban exploration type of this, and all of the uh, broken down tech. And there's more beer bottles here. Good grief! It was either a massive party or just some very very lax uh, procedures. So this is that's where we've got more. Oh, that's that's the main high voltage switch. Maybe we can get in there somehow. Aha! Crawl around an event. That's going to be useful. And go up here. And fling that down there. And pull it on. On. Good. And there's a key. Open that door. And we need to find... I'm guessing... Ah, oh, the lab. Well, we need to find something for the lab. Now... Where would that be? Basically, you start picking everything up. Just press on everything and just start picking stuff up. Nope, not around there. This is where these sort of things can get a little bit frustrating. If you don't really know where to go or whatnot. Um, but I'm just going to start picking up everything I can. There might be something in boxes. Ah, there you go, in fact. <laughs> it's there. That's the, that's the fuse. So we can fling it down there because we know that's where we need to go. At least I hope that's the way we need to go. Um, can we go in this room, though? No, it's not. Oh, that's the room that I was on about where, yeah, look, you see all of the um, tops of the turbines and the generators, and it's just full of water, which is, uh, yeah, it's not something you really want to mix. Um, <laughs> a lot of electricity and water together. And then, obviously, the third element is you, and uh, you generally come off worse when it comes to that equation. So we're going to put that in there. There we go. And that should be the lab opened up. Actually, can we go this way into the... No, we can't. The thing's off. But I think you get the idea of what this game is about. You explore abandoned buildings and look at all of the technology that's falling apart. And that's what the game's about. It's obviously uh, story-driven. It's a you know, a narrative exploration game, walking simulator, whichever you prefer. You have got your camera, which you don't have to... Um, I don't think you have to take photos, but it is, like, one of the objectives to, uh, to, like, get some... What the hell is that? Cooling beer with water. Really? That's what they're doing in the lab? I mean, it's a vital experiment, but I don't think, really, they're spending their time well. Look at all the beer! What the hell was this plant doing? <laughs> it's a bottling plant. It's not a... Hydro power plant. Um, I also don't know what this does, but I'm just going to turn it because I can. Yeah, let's say you can take photos. There There's no, no real reason to do it. Uh, like, I've just turned that and it says, there we go. I don't know what it's done. Um, but if we follow the pipe, which goes along this way... Oh, hang on, were those on previously? I don't really know. Yeah, it can be a little bit random at times, but, um, you know, it is what it is. It can be annoying in stages. At least when I was playing before, like, because I, I didn't know where to go and it was basically trial and error of just pressing on things and turning dial like wheels and dials would be nice if it told you a bit more about what it was and stuff but uh you know i think we can deal with that um so we've gone to the lab we've turned on that we've turned that um we've, tur we've turned that switch so maybe if we've got a lab we should be able to um ah yes we now got a bit of power in the turbine hall which should allow us to go in here Yes, we can. And obviously we can't go here because uh, the gantry is broken. Yeah, that's that's all bad. But we can go here now, and to cross that we would have to jump on them boxes. We have to basically pick the boxes up and stack them all, and yeah, you get the idea. But that is a little bit of infra. Like I said, I, I quite like it. I, I like this urban exploration stuff, I like the old technology, and I find the, uh, the story quite intriguing, so I'm definitely going to be progressing on and see uh, you know, what it has, uh, what else it has in store. If you like what you see, links in the description. You can check it out yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.